Hi everyone, my name is Vineet. So in this tutorial, I will be writing a program of find kth largest element in the integer array. So here we have one unsorted integer array and we need to find the kth largest element. So k value here we have 3 means we have to find kth, uh, third largest element. So first largest element we have 20, second largest element we have 14 and third largest element we have 12. So we have to return that this 12 value to color method. So let's write one program and also discuss while writing the program. We'll discuss discuss the approach as well. We'll passing a two parameter one is integer array and another one is kth element so let's use here inbuilt method of inbuilt method of sort it will sort the element in ascending order and return kth index value so here in this approach what we are doing we are saying uh, firstly whatever list we have whatever array elements we have sort them in ascending order and in this step we are doing whatever length we have in array subtract k value from this length and it will return one index and we are saying get the value uh, from array of this index so whatever index it will return we will be returning uh, based on this index we will be returning the value to column method so let's write main method and test whether it's working fine or not <coughs> so we'll use here same element of array let's call uh, find kth largest element method and we'll initialize k as 3 and so let's not uh, keep returned value in one another variable so if, because we are not doing anything with the returned value we are just printing so let's print it here that value directly so let's test we have done with this logic let's test whether it's working fine or not so we have k value is 3 as we discussed here so it should return 12 so you can see here it's ret uh, the return value is also 12 it's working fine let's check for the second largest so the second largest we have here uh, 14 so it should return 14 second largest ok let's run this yeah it's 14 so this logic is working fine let's write one another logic so we'll give this name as uh, v1 version 1 and we'll write the same method here with version 2 so this will be version 2 so we are not using here sorting sorting and all will not do sorting manually <coughs> so in this step we will be using here priority queue so priority queue is internally maintaining the natural uh, sorting order so we will just uh, use priority queue so we'll saying let's declare priority queue and we have integer uh, array so we are passing integer here so let's pass here size of array so it's uh, it's a good convention if you're 
if you know the size of your uh, array or array list so you are declaring another uh, collection with the size that you want otherwise it will create uh, the default size so sometime it will be your uh, memory wastage so try to use uh, this collection with the size that you want so let's iterate this array So we'll be adding what each element one by one in the queue. And then we will check whether whether the queue size is uh, sorry. If it is greater than k, so we will not add so if k value is 3 so we will add only 3 value in the queue 3 elements in the queue so other values we will remove from this queue so whatever value we have that is greater than k we will be adding that those value in the we will be keeping those value uh, in the queue so if our queue size will uh, be greater than the this k size is k so we'll be removing those and at the end we will be returning uh, head of queue so this remove method is uh, is doing to re it, it's actually removing the head of the queue so we have done with this let's test this program and let's call v2 here so we have 14 we have passed here uh, second we are asking to give second largest element so second largest is 2 so this is our method we are calling v2 and let's check for the uh, third largest third largest is 12 so it should return 12 it's 12 and let's check for another that is uh, fifth largest fifth largest we have first is 20 second is 14 third is 12 fourth is 9 and fifth is 8 it should return 8 yeah so fifth largest element we have 8 so our logic is working fine uh, this this logic is also uh, useful but might be interviewer will not be accept this logic so you can use this logic in your interview so that's it from this video guys uh, we'll meet in another video with another interesting problem that might be very useful for your interview. So, thank you so much.